वेलकम बैक टू मैथ रिविशन मेड मेटिकुलस वीडियो सीरीज डे फोर इंटग्रेशन यूसिंग ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज रिविशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट मीन लुकिंग बैक ओवर प्रीवियली लर्न इंफर्मेशन एंश्यूरिंग दट इट इज क्लियर एंड फ्रेश इन द मैं फाइव क्वेश्चन पर् डे फ्रम सेलेक्टेड टापिक इज प्रसेड अट दिस वीडियो सीरीज The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Integration using trigonometric identities. When the integrand involves some trigonometric functions, we use some known identities to evaluate the integral. Let us try to recollect some identities which we have seen in lower classes. Sin square x plus cos square x is one. One plus tan square is secant square. One plus cot square is cosecant square. In eleventh standard, you have seen the formula of multiple angles: sine two x, two sine x, cos x. Same sine two x is two tan x by one plus tan square x. Similarly, cos two x is cos square x minus sine square x. Cos two x is two cos square x minus one. Similarly, one minus two sine square x is cos two x, and uh, cos two x is one minus tan square by one plus tan square. We'll be using a particular formula for cos 2x whenever it is appropriate in an appropriate place. And we know that cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1. From that, we are getting one idea that cos square x is 1 plus cos 2x by 2. That is, the square function cos square is represented here as a normal function that is cos 2x. That is 1 plus. And suppose if it is one plus cos x, there it will be cos square x by two. If it is in the right hand side or in the left hand side, if it is a multiple angle, it will be normal angle. If it is a normal angle, it will be a sub multiple angle. Similarly, suppose you have cos square two x, it will be one plus cos four x. If it is cos square three x, it will be one plus cos six x by two. If it is cos square four x, it will be one plus cos eight x by two. If it is cos square of any angle, it will be one plus cos of it twice the angle by two. This you have to remember. Similarly, we are having a formula: cos two x is one minus two sine square x. Similarly, we can convert it for our convenience. That is, sine square x is one minus cos two x by two. But whenever you see sine square to integrate it, replace it by one minus cos two x by two. From the same idea, whenever it is one minus cos x by two, it will be sine square x by two. And sine square two x is one minus cos four x by two. Similarly, sine square three x is one minus cos six x by two, and so on. Now let us try to do this problem now for revision. Question number one: one minus cos x by one plus cos x. Now you can multiply and divide by one minus cos x also, and you can do this problem. But you can do by directly the substitutions. They are one minus cos x is two sine square x by two, and one plus cos x is two cos square x by two. If it is one minus cos two x, it is two sine square x. If it is one plus cos two x, it is two cos square x. But it is one minus cos x here, therefore it is two sine square x by two and two cos square x by two. But we are uh, replacing them, and we are getting tan square x by two. Again, we are using identity that what is one plus tan square? It is secant square. Therefore, tan square is secant square minus one. Secant square x by two minus one. Integrate it separately now. It will be integration of the secant square x by 2 and integration of dx. Secant square x is tan x. Therefore, secant square x by 2 is tan x by 2 by 1 by 2. Already we have seen it. Suppose if the coefficient of x is other than 1, you have to expand, extend the formula and divide by its the coefficient of x. Here coefficient of x is 1 by 2. Therefore, the answer is 2 tan x by 2 minus x plus c. Here we have used that identity for Cos 2x formula, and we have solved this problem. Similarly, we are having another problem where it is cos 2x by cos x plus sin x the whole square. Now, sometimes what happens when you use identity or a formula which we have seen, the problem may get reduced to a stage where we can use integration by substitution. Let us try. Cos 2x, I am leaving it as it is. In the denominator, cos x plus sin x, the whole square I am expanding. 
it becomes sin square plus cos square plus 2 sin x cos x. All of you know sin square x plus cos square x 1 and sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. These are the two identities which we have seen. By making use of them it will become cos 2x by 1 plus sin 2x. Now we are using that form idea that inside the integral we are having the differentiation of sin 2x that is cos 2x. Therefore we are replacing u as 1 plus sin 2x. du will become 2 cos 2x but we are having only cos 2x dx in the integral therefore it is du by 2. Now substitute everything now cos 2x dx is du by 2 1 plus sin 2x is u therefore 1 by u into du by 2 1 by 2 will come out integral 1 by u is log u therefore the answer is 1 by 2 log of 1 plus sin 2x plus c. Here you see we have used the identity the problem has reduced to a problem of substitution. Now making use of the sin 3x formula we can also solve sin cube x. Using cos 3x formula we can integrate cos cube x. Now let us see how to do this sin cube x. We are having a formula now sin cube x is 3 sin x minus sin 3x by 4 by making use of the formula of sin 3x and sin 3x formula we are having from that only sin cube x has come. Therefore, we are replacing it by 3 sin x minus sin 3x by 4. 1 by 4 comes out 3 sin x minus sin 3x for 3 by 4 into integral sin x minus 1 by 4 into integral sin 3x. All of you know sin x integration is minus cos x. Similarly, sin 3x integration will be minus cos 3x by 3 because the coefficient of x is 3 other than 1. We have to divide by it. For you got the final answer. Similarly, you can do cos q x also. Suppose if it is sin power 4, write it as sin square the whole square. All of you know what is sin square? It is 1 minus cos 2x by 2. If it is cos power 4x, it will be cos square the whole square which is 1 plus cos 2x by 2. You can expand and you can continue the problem. Okay. Now in class 11, we have seen some formula where re representing summation as product and representing product as summation. These formulae are derived from sin x plus y, sin x minus y, cos x plus y and cos x minus y formulae. 2 sin x cos x is sin x plus y plus sin x minus y. 2 cos x sin y is sin x plus y minus sin x minus y. 2 cos x cos y is cos x plus y plus cos x minus y. 2 sin x sin y is cos x minus y minus cos x plus y. Please remember this formula. Here what is the advantage of this formula? In the left hand side it is product of two trigonometric function. But on the right hand side it is sum of two trigonometric function. But this is a set of formula which you have seen in class 11 representing product as sum. Please remember this formula so that very easily you can do problem involving integration where it is a product of two trigonometric functions especially sin and cos ok this is a problem we will take sin x and cos 4x we have to use the formula 2 sin x cos y for that we have to multiply and divide by 2 so that it will become 2 cos 4x sin 3x here one uh, thing which you have to remember whenever you are writing 2 cos x cos y 2 sin x sin y 2 cos x sin y or 2 sin x cos y always try to keep the bigger angle in the front so that whenever you do the subtraction you will not have any confusion that when you do the subtraction you are getting a negative angle or positive angle ok 2 cos x sin y you have a formula sin x plus y minus sin x minus y I am using it it will become sin 7x minus half into sin x dx. You know the integration of sin x, it is minus cos x. Therefore, integration of sin 7x is minus cos 7x by 7. Integration of sin x is minus cos x. Therefore, you got this answer now. But here, very quickly, we have done it by making use of the formula expressing the product as sum. Now, this problem you can use as 2 sin x cos y formula also you can use. But I have used cos x sin y formula, no issue. 
sometimes you may get a problem like this where more than 2 that is 3 trigonometric function will be multiplied it may be sin cos cos or cos or cos cos or sin 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 like that for all the problem the technique is the same what we will do it we will take 2 at a time first of all we will take the first 2 then we will try to finish it for example 2 cos x cos y is cos x plus y plus cos x minus y I multiply and divide by 2 I take the first 2 term that is cos 2x cos 4x when I use the formula it will become cos 6x plus cos 2x 2x plus 4x and 4x minus 2x is 2x and when I expand it I am getting cos square 6x plus cos 2x into cos 6x let us continue we are continuing that now all of you know cos square 6x how to do it already we have seen it it will be 1 plus cos 12x by 2 1 plus cos 12x by 2 because cos square x is 1 plus cos x by 2 as it is 6 cos 2x by 2 therefore at a 6x it will become 12x by 2 anyway now again in the right the second term you have to use the formula 2 cos x cos y for that we need to multiply and divide by that once again i am using the formula 2 cos x cos y on the right hand side then the second term but we are expanding it it will become 1 by 4 into integral 1 plus cos 12x dx plus 1 by 4 into 2 plus 6 is 8 6 minus 2 is 4 therefore cos 8x plus cos 4x but we are having 4 integrals now i am just expanding it and i am showing you 1 by 4 dx 1 by 4 cos 12x dx 1 by 4 cos 8x dx and 1 by 4 cos 4x dx now it's a very simple to do the integration because cos x integration is sine whenever you are having anything other than 1 you have to divide by that number you have to remember that but we got this uh, answer now sin 12x by 12 sin 8x by 8 sin 4x by 4 when you do this uh, multiplication and writing it in a proper way the answer is x by 4 plus sin 12x by 48 plus sin 8x by 32 plus sin 4x by 16 for we have seen today how the trigonometric identities and trigonometric formulae it may be sum of uh, trigonometric function writing sum as product product of the sum all these formulae are helping you to reduce the integral into a stage where we can apply the integral formula directly success is dependent on effort all the best Thank you.